So, so hi. Um, we're. I came across your. Um, is this a vigil or was this a protest march tonight? This was a candlelight vigil in okay. uh, remembrance of two young Tibetan monks who uh, burned themselves alive in protest uh, this, this past Monday. Um, and the reason why they burned themselves alive in protest is because they, uh, as 18 year old monks, are uh, tired of living under the Chinese occupation of Tibet. Um, the Chinese uh, military took over Tibet in 1950, and since then, uh, it's been one of the most repressive countries in the world. 1.2 million Tibetans have died. Um, and so, just like you see in Egypt and Syria and Yemen, uh, Tibetans inside Tibet are protesting and uh, speaking out for their human rights. Uh, my name is Kunchok Benpo. I'm the president of the uh, Regional Tibetan Youth Congress, Wisconsin. Uh, I want to I want to give a small uh, message to the American people about like why China like how bad the China is like to like related to Tibetan cause. China is the worst human rights violators in this modern society right now. So since they occupied uh, Tibet and uh, Tibet, Tibetan people has been suffering inside Tibet and they are they are tortured and they are prison and uh, and they don't basic basically they don't have basic human rights inside Tibet. And uh, recently, in uh, in uh, some of the monasteries, like they they ban, I mean they they occup I mean they they kind of conquered the whole monasteries, and like mo uh, peop uh, monks can uh, monks can do their prayers, and they can do their regular uh, uh, practice, and uh, they can't even go in and go out. Uh, there is no food supplies. Their food supplies has been cut. Uh, this kind of situation that American people should really think about it. Thank you. Thank you. Well, um, you're you're at the UW Madison campus, and uh, so folks that are interacting with you are students, but could also people just from the community or from Wisconsin. Can they interact with you and try to be involved with yeah, what you're doing? Yeah, absolutely. Student Students for Free Tibet works through the UW Madison campus, um, and we do have a lot of events here on campus uh, throughout the year. We will have a very large event um, on the third of December. Um, showcasing modern Tibetan music, um, banned Tibetan music, music of the Tibetan resistance. Um, but I also wanted to say something, you know, as it relates to Wisconsin and China and the Tibetan issue. Okay. Um, you know, for the past two years, since 2008, the UW-Madison has uh, started all these exchange programs with the Chinese government and with uh, the Chinese officials. And given the fact that Tibetans inside Tibet are being shot in the streets for protesting, for uh, their human rights, I think that it's highly irregular and inappropriate for Americans to ignore this. Um, and I think that Wisconsinites need to realize that the Chinese government wants to win their hearts and minds as Americans. They want them to believe that China is a place that Wisconsinites can do business. Our government officials, Scott Walker, the governor of Illinois, all go to China to uh, make trade deals. And this, these trade deals are, are done uh, in ignorance of what has been going on inside Tibet. 1.2 million Tibetans have died. That's genocide. There's nothing excusable about that. So I think what I want to do is call my fellow Americans to action and say, just like you stood up for Egyptians, just like you stood up for Syrians, for people in Yemen and Libya, we can also stand for people in Tibet, in China, who want democracy. Thank you very much. Um, and so people right now, when they're done watching the video, is there a Facebook site or website that they should be going to right now? Um, I would suggest they go to studentsforfreetibet.org. Okay. And that just gives some general information about the organization we work with and about the Tibetan, Tibetan cause. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.